years of my life practicing law. I did nothing but real estate. That was what I did for a living. I did landlord and tenant, yeah? Buying and selling of properties. I dealt with foreclosures, closings of all kinds. And this is my life work. I don't really know very much more. I want to know a lot more, but know about the land and how important it is. I know how important it is for your home to be threatened to feel like you're being marginalized and you're not able to assert your rights. So just know that this is what my work has been for most of my life and that did lead me into the surrogate scene because what is the surrogate and what does the surrogate do? The surrogate is the judge that determines and distributes real property if you own property or personal property when you die. This is an important conversation that people don't like to talk about, and that's death, and preparing for it. As I've said in many places that I've been at over the last few months, you have to provide insurance for your child when they're six months old, not when they're 21. Because as we see, people are dying younger and younger every day. Look at Aretha Franklin, multi-millionaire, one of the greatest legends of all time, did not have a will. Right. Who's right. going to decide that? It's going to be a stranger in the city and or county in which she lived. They're going to determine who gets her money. Not her. Not what her wishes were. That's really what we consider from the South a crying shame. That shouldn't be. This is going to become a national conversation. I'm determined to make it one. God seemed to have placed this on my heart to make certain that we all are prepared for leaving the earth because we're not gonna be here forever. You, for example, your husband having deceased, you need to have a will in place. You need to be able to decide who that property is gonna to go to before you go, amen. Very good. Healthcare proxies, Yes. in the event that something happened to us, if we don't have the will, at least we should have the healthcare proxy or the power of attorney. Look at the young lady in Manhattan who fell off of the balcony trying to go into his cell phone. Right? Gone. That's going to destroy a family if they don't have money to bury her. We shouldn't have to be doing go to fund me when someone passes away in our community. As we know we live in some areas of high risk of death. So if nothing else, we should be very serious about that conversation. So I was blessed enough to do the work of myself as well as my manager, Mr. Morgan, standing over against the wall, a blessing from God. And between him and a few other people, we don't even have a primary. That's a blessing right there. That's a $300,000 blessing. You understand? So as a result of hard work, I will not have a primary, but I will be on the ballot in November. Please look for my name. Know that I came. I came here for your vote. I ask you also to look out for one of your other judges, Judge Ingrid Joseph, who's running for re-election. Okay. Also look out for that name, yeah. as well as Lauren Bailey. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are countywide offices. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, Justin Hamilton. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Big senator. Yeah. 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 Sign in for me. So he came in just in time. I was just pretty much finishing, at least with my introduction Sorry. to you, I just, want just to, to let you, you know I did? Yes. that okay. this is going to be a work that's going to take oh, a lot of work to try to get the county in order, to be able to make certain that everyone understands that we need to all be in this conversation. And we're not comfortable with it. We're not comfortable about talking about it that. But we have a plan for death just like we plan for life. So I just want you all to be engaged. Know that I'll come back, but we'll have a real in-depth conversation How you about doing? it. And when I come, I will bring with me lawyers, other judges, written information that's going to assist you in dealing with that issue. All of us have to deal with the issue. Not just some of us and not those just that live in the apartment. Those who live in the apartment, those that own property, need to deal with the issue yeah. of death. Okay? So I will be back. But let's just at least talk about what I hear that's going on here in the building. Let me, like, Let me just start off by saying, since you are re regulated, quite 
since you are re regulated, that means that the building is subject to rent control and rent stabilization. When I first started talking earlier, because we were talking individually, as buildings that are subject to rent regulation, understand that there's a specific date in the law. It's called the base date. That's as of 1968. And then when we started to have to register buildings in 1984, those, that time period is what determines the services that you are entitled to. I guarantee you at one time you used to have a community room. You used to have other services that are no longer in effect in the building. You need to investigate that, particularly from the people that have been here for years. Some of you are newcomers, some of you are old comers. In the event that a service has been discontinued, you have a right to once again, not just because of services, but because of a de 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 decrease or de discontinuance of a service, you have a right to put in an application to have that service restored. As I had said earlier, it's a shame that you should have to meet in the lobby of a building. You should have a community room because you are a tenant association, but you have to make sure that the tenant association is registered and all of the rights and obligations that the association has to collect money, to open up accounts, right. to be able to withhold rents, that's right. because that's an effective way right. to get things going and get things happening right. when you're not being heard. Right. Now, in the old days, this was the way that we shut down buildings. We withheld the rents, they were in the bank. We brought what we call omnibus actions in the housing court, which you have a right to do. The housing court is one of your greatest mechanisms to restore the services in your building. So you all have to come together as a group. You file the applications. They come in and they do a building-wide inspection. Every apartment that they're able to get into, they do an inspection, and then they have a list of violations. And they regulate it. They come in for one, two, sometimes three inspections until all of the repairs are done. They have to at least do 80% correction before they come out of a very large organization that regulates that. I don't want to get fancy with the terms and get people confused. But know that you have several organizations that put you in a position to be able to change the environment in which you live. We are all entitled to safe, clean, right? and non-hazardous conditions in your apartment because your apartment is regulated not only by state law, particularly because it's a rent-stabilized and or rent-controlled building. So know that these are some of the weapons and mechanisms that you can use to have building-wide conditions, for example. I don't even think this is the proper color for your building. I think it's supposed to be a light color in the hallway, so that's something that you really need to even look at. It's not supposed to be no gray and dark, but I know that there's certain colors they've changed a little bit, so I know that that's something that uh, also needs to be done. The second regulatory agency is the State of New York Division of Housing. Now, I believe that you had filed uh, uh, yeah. a complaint with them, but I didn't see a lot service. of the other things that you should have put down, right? Yeah, uh, for um, a hundred and about a hundred and forty-four tenants, signed and then so. signed it, mm -hmm. and it was a, it was granted, but the landlord did not give the um, necessary Reduction. reductions of the rent. See, so now yeah. that takes you into another area that's yeah. now an overcharge. You. If right. you continue to pay the rent that's right. that has not been restored. So see, you got a whole, yeah. you really got a lot of stuff going on here right. that you really can assert your rights in order to protect your home. So on that issue, remember, you've now over 90 days, you can deem it denied and go right to Supreme Court. Okay. So that's a whole other process. <laughs> Talking about a 76 the, It's proceeding. called the Article 78. 70, article Your 70, part right. after 90 days is deemed denied, and you could go there for further relief from the court. Oh, okay. But at DHCR, you have so many different kinds of complaints. What needs to happen is one of you, the, either the president or the arm of the president, needs to go to the state of New York right. and get every form that you can get, all the way from tenant harassment to rent reduction to rent overcharge, 
and to all of the other types of services that you would be entitled to. Someone needs to go and get the forms, and maybe at your next meeting that you call, you can distribute them depending upon your individual issue. I believe that we had an issue about harassment. Right. That the, the, this camera, that could be a problem, right? Yeah. Because that's an invasion of privacy, it's a human rights issue, it's another kind of issue, which is harassment. So I think that you need to take advantage of some of the remedies. You may not be able to manage this on your own, but through a group, there's strength in numbers. So you guys need to now operate as a valid tenant association. That has a definition. Well, that was, this was formed, this tenant association we're currently a part of mm -hmm. was formed since 1976. Okay, yeah, but do yeah. you have all the other stuff right. in order? Do you have your, your, your tax ID, the right. ability to yes. open up yes. your account? Yes. So if you have all of the, yes. the basic stuff together, you just need to have somebody go through the statute with you a little bit right. to make sure that everything's in order. And then once you at least have that in order, Right. Then you could use some of the other mechanisms that right. you can use to do some enforcement. Because sometimes right. you have to coerce people to do things. Right. And you reckon we all know what's going on here, right? <laughs> you pay in low rents, big, huge apartments. Right? We talked about pre. -war. Some people are not paying low. A lot of people are not paying low rents. Actually, they're jacking up the rent, adding, adding um, excess rent they don't know the true rent rental of the apartment until they find out their certified rent history once they go and find out their rent history but they see, realize why, yeah. their apartment was jacked up yeah so and that's when you could file your yeah. overcharge complaint. Yeah. so you see how one thing can lead into the next yeah. lead into the next yeah. so you really need to go and get the forms right the policy statements you need to look at them right that you don't understand there's people that are going to help right. you do that all of the other statements that come out from the state. And you really do, I think at one point or another, once at least you have your organization like it's supposed to, right. you know, you have now legal aid and legal service that are still working, who are willing to work with you. They can guide you, they can help you. And the legal part of this, because it can become very big for us. Well, right? Senator Hamilton referred mm -hmm. a lot of um, tenants we had complaints with, we sent them to the Senator's office. Mm -hmm and they referred a lot of legal aid attorneys to them, which was very good, because some of the tenants, he, the landlord in particular, where is she, uh, Mrs. Lenargen, Mrs. Mm -hmm. uh, and Mr. Bryant, mm -hmm. they tried to evict them three times, and if it wasn't for Senator Hamilton here, they would have lost their apartment. So he's the guy who, who helped him, you know, Senator Hamilton, yeah. yeah. So, so there's a lot, yeah. and, and, and as, as uh, yeah. Mr. Hampton, I'm always calling him Jesse. Yeah, I know it's Jesse, too. As, um, as, as Jesse knows, yeah. um, him and I met through yeah, the, the house process. I just want to say, one of the best landlord tenant attorneys was Harry Thompson. Right. You know, when I first met his brother, you would lose this case. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Never let me forget it. But at least now, and I know that he's a good source. Right. And I think that it, you really now now got to step up your, your game now. You right. really got to step up your game. You got to get the forms. You got to know that not only do you need assistance legally, right. but that you also have other governmental agencies that you also can go to. Remember, when I started off, I said an omnibus action. That means that you're going to the division, not division, but the department of um, you've heard of HPD, right? Yeah. And HPD can provide you with forms in which you can fill out as a group to bring the landlord into court to enforce compliance with the Administrative Code of the City of New York, the Housing Maintenance Code of the City of New York. And when they come in, they come in heavy. You know, if you're home, they will inspect all of the apartments. They'll inspect as many apartments as they can get access to. And if there are violations that go up to a certain number, they're hard on that. Those are still being brought in the HP part, and that's free. The only thing that you're doing is purchasing an Well, currently this building, I'm going to show you later on, currently this building many, has about 202 many? violations. If and I know from what these people are telling me, there's more that just not a record. Yeah. <laughs> right? I'm right. pretty much willing to tell you, you know, as I look around, yeah. You know, it's not in bad shape, at least here, but some of the concerns that I've heard, I'm certain that there's a lot right. of Right, there's that. a lot of leaks, and what happened now, they, they installed this, 
particular thing they claim to be a leak detector 